Okay, so I wanted to make a quick pathway for um, basically all of immunology, and, and that sounds challenging, but um, it, I wanted to understand how all of the interleukins, interferons, and the different cells interact, and how innate and adapt immune response interact, and be able to recall it really quickly for an exam. Um, I'm using this for USMLE. Um, you can use it for whatever you want, but um, the idea is that you should be able to draw this out in like 90 seconds. Um, now, I want to put a little bit of a, a warning on this, that this is... Um, Unlike other videos I've posted for pathways, you gotta know a little bit about immunology to make this pathway work. It's a map, um, and it's a fairly complex map, but it can be drawn simple. The structure's memorable. I built it that way um, so I can remember it. So it's basically, a, it looks like a cartoon character. So I'm just gonna draw that structure really quickly. So it's like this. Start out with the eyes. It's got its head here. It's got a mouth, then it's got this chin, it's got this little mustache. The mustache is really important, you'll see. It's got arms right here, an arm there, an arm there, and uh, this sweet unibrow right there. So that's the basic structure. Um, it's cute enough that you can remember it. You draw it once, you, you won't forget it. Um, and that's the easy part. The hard part is filling in a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna start out and draw um, some cells in the place and then we'll do all the interleukins. Uh, the cells are the easy part. So we're gonna put a somatic body cell right here. So I'm just gonna write somatic cell, SC. Natural killer cell right here, NK. Uh, we're gonna put our helper T cell uh, subtype 1, helper T cell subtype 2, and then a macrophage right here. You can see that sort of this star arrangement. They sort of go around and that's like a, you know, five points there. Uh, and then over here we're going to have our cytotoxic T cell, activated B cell right here, and then a neutrophil right here. So uh, the saving grace is there's a little bit of structural um, ease to look at here again that's that cartoony structure then this sort of has this like five point shape here and then an arc for the tcb and n cell there um neutrophil so the hard part is filling in all the interleukins um and this is why i think that to do this pathway you got to know a little bit about immunology just basic immunology and you sort of run the storyboard of an infection and so that's what we're going to do here um, so the first thing that happens um, we're going to have a virally infected um, somatic cell. So there's going to be this double-stranded RNA. It's going to be sensed in the somatic cell, and the first thing it's going to do is it's going to offload interferon alpha and beta. And I'm just going to forego the IFN, just interferon alpha and beta, and it's going to tell that to the natural killer cell here. So we're going to put a little arrow there, and the natural killer cell, in response, is going to do it few things. One, it's going to kill that cell, um, basically, and we'll get to that. The other thing it's going to do is it's going to upregulate interferon gamma. Um, and that interferon gamma is going to reflect back on the cell here. So it's going to go, hey, you are infected. Have some interferon gamma. And this is why that mustache is important. It's going to tell this cell to upregulate MHC1. So you can see how the um, adaptive... Um, right here, an innate immune response, which is going on right here, sort of connected right there, which is kind of nice. Uh, the other thing that's gonna happen is this uh, infected somatic uh, body cell is going to um, want to make it known that it is infected to this natural killer cell, which it has turned on. So it's going to get on the mic, so to speak. This is mic A and B. It's upregulating these cell surface receptors, mic A and B, so that the natural killer cell knows to come and kill that cell. Um, now you see I'm drawing in these little arrows and directions here uh, for where they're going. This is what I mean when I said earlier that you got to know a little bit about immunology to make this work because you kind of got to tell yourself the storyboard as you draw this and um, you can do it in 90 seconds. I'm just doing it slowly and ex explaining as we go so it'll be much longer but if you memorize it um, you can do it this way. So that's where we are right there um, with that. Um, and now moving forward, uh, I'm going to do something first. I want to fill in all the interleukins and then describe them as we go to save some time. Uh, don't get intimidated as I draw these. These are just something 
to be memorized, but it's easier than memorizing your whole immunology textbook um, to just have this map written out here. TGF beta 10. Um, and there's no IL. So anything that's just a number is just IL. Um, and over here, TNF alpha 1 beta 6 8 there. Um, 12 right there. And what else do we have? I think that's good. So let's just start with this and run it through um, real quick. So where we were at was that the natural killer cell had upregulated um, interferon gamma here. I um, mean, at this point, um, the role that this has is in starting to activate the adaptive immune response right there, as well as um, upregulating macrophages that are in the area. So you can sort of see that this interferon gamma that's being offloaded by the natural killer cell here. It's going to go to the macrophage and it's going to go towards this helper T cell differentiation, which I want to talk to you about right now. So really, um, I should put this in red actually. I'm putting this helper T cell with a question mark right in this corner here. Um, because what this is, is under the influence of interferon gamma, a non-differentiated helper T cell will become either the subtype 1 or the subtype 2. And that's important because they have different roles. So that is to say that the natural killer cell offloads interferon gamma. And under the influence of IL-4 or IL-12, this helper T cell will become either subtype 2 or subtype 1. So under the influence of 4, the helper T cell becomes subtype 2. Now subtype 2's role, so Th2 cells here, these are CD4 Th2 cells, their job is to upregulate the differentiation of B cells. So you're, you'll have your humoral response. And it does so by offloading either IL-4 or IL-5. And it is either or because here, if it's 4, it'll be a B cell that's making either immunoglobulin G or E. Um, and if it's 5, it'll be immunoglobulin A. And you can read all about those. This is just a map to help you get there quickly. Um, and then if the TH cell differentiates to a helper T cell subtype 1, it will offload IL-2 to help with TC, the cytotoxic T cell, CD8 T cell differentiation right here. Um, so now on top of that, there is one thing that both TH1 and TH2 both do, and that is they, um, they upregulate CD40 ligand. Now this part of the map gets a little nuanced here because really that happens. And all you got to do is just draw an arrow to remind yourself. So helper T cells um, 2, the 2 subtype, will upregulate CD40 ligand, and the B cells they are upregulating will upregulate CD40, which is the receptor, and that sort of works synergistically to help with this um, proliferation and activation of the B cell. The Th1 cell here, the helper T cell subtype 1, will also upregulate CD40 ligand, but it interacts with a macrophage over here that has put CD40, that receptor, on its surface. So that's another way that the innate and adaptive immune response are going to interact right there, which is kind of nice. Um, the next thing I want to get into is we talked about how interferon gamma here, and I have this arrow telling me that this interferon gamma is going to upregulate the macrophage. Well, the macrophage, if you follow, it offloads IL-12, which also help upregulates natural killer cells. So what you see here is natural killer cells interfere on gamma to the macrophage, macrophage IL-12 to the natural killer cell, and you get this cycle of activation. There must be a way to regulate this. And in fact, there is, um, and that is through the TH helper 2 cell here. So it's going to dump TGF beta IL-10 to stop the macrophage and help put a stop to the inflammatory response right there. So that's kind of a way that we break the cycle with that. Lastly, this arm over here is the um, innate immune response with neutrophilic uh, inflammatory response. And that's just to say that a macrophage, um, if it picks up something and is not upregulated by a natural killer cell, that is to say it, it 
picks up something that's toll-like receptor or mannose binding lectin receptor, and it will initiate an inflammatory response. It offloads TNF alpha, one beta six and eight. This is a whole other conversation, but this just reminds me of where the innate immune response ties into this whole structure. And last but not least, something that was left out here that I do want to draw in, because um, we didn't talk about this cell, it's the dendritic cell right here. It moves, it, you know, it samples and then it moves to the lymph node and it activates the cytotoxic T cell. And it does so via its, um, well, the T cells has CD28 and the dendritic cell has the B7 on it and it can do so. It can actually have these T cells proliferate without IL-2. And in fact, any antigen presenting cell can do this. Like dendritic cells have this B7 here, but so don't, um, B cells and so don't macrophagia, but this just reminds me, you know, that this is different. It doesn't require IL-2. It seems really complicated, but don't get it twisted. You know, it's like if you know a little bit about immunology, um, and I'm not saying this isn't complicated, but the idea is that in order to understand it fully in 90 seconds, if you have a test and you're confused and you can draw this out really quickly, this is a, a fairly good saving grace. It, it sort of puts innate adaptive immune response in context with all of the cells and all the regulation that goes on. Um, there's some other things here that are not, I mean, this is not, it's fairly comprehensive, but not complete. And what I mean by that is um, natural killer cells are offloading IL. I mean, interferon gamma, so don't T cells and so don't B cells. And that's maybe an important nuance that you want to remember. Um, and T regulatory cells are not in here. But other than that, I think this covers most of it. So that's that. Hope it helps.